Stracon 2018 – Designing a Building Model Using Cube Wall and Cube Slab In this example I will create my building components using cube wall on a PDF template. I determine the parameters wall thickness and height for a single white wall, multi-layers are also possible, and I select a material. Now I place the profile at any starting point and can change the input side during input, left, right or center. During input I change the wall height to slope the top of the wall. I also change the joint connection. To make changes again it is possible to go back to the last point and reselect for example the joint connection. I can also use a plan view for input if that is helpful for better orientation. Parameters can be changed at any time during input. Change wall height, change joint connections, input walls with flat or sloped tops. In addition to butter joints, walls can also be connected using a mitre connection. During input all these wall parameters such as wall thickness or height or joint connection can be changed as often as desired. Of course it is possible to change the wall geometry anytime later, for example the joint connection, where I change the side. The parameters of my wall can also be changed in the object data. I can determine a new wall thickness or wall height here. Additionally the wall geometry can be changed by using the grip points. Maybe for moving the top points of the wall to create another height at the beginning and the end of the wall. Using the editing functions I can add an additional wall section. This can be placed using an offset distance from the start of the wall. The section can then be modified using the grip points. It is also possible to define a jump in the wall section. This can also be refit using the grip points. Now I will place some wall openings. In this case a window using the parameters width, height and sill height. The wall openings work directly on the wall surface and I can determine the location using a reference point and distance. If a reference point is not determined, it is always placed relative to the start of the wall. The location of an existing window can easily be changed by moving it. Wall openings can also be placed using the plan view. For this I set my walls transparent so that I can reference the points on the PDF template. For exact placement I can also change the input side of the window, right, left and center. Door openings are placed using the defined width and height at the base of the wall. The geometry of wall openings can also be modified using the grip points. An additional type of wall opening is the wall height slot. For this I can determine a cut clear through or set a depth. To place the slot I can use a reference point and distance, for example just like the window. Coming now to the last function for this video, the cube slab. 
determine the material and the parameter such as the offset to the input points and the slab thickness. By clicking on corners I determine the outline of my floor slab. During input I can change the offset from inner to outer corners. And now a little time lapse. Input is automatically closed when I reach the starting point once again. Now I can change the side of the slab thickness and also determine additional opening polygons. In this case I simply reuse the points from my PDF template. My floor or foundation slab is now finished. Until next time with Scracon 3D Design.